and Steve Kim here. So excited, Steve Kim Show, episode number 260. The much anticipated December stats are in, and now as usual, I got your numbers and your stats. Let's get right into it. So back in November in 2023 in Toronto, we had just over 1,600 sales against just over 7,000 active listings. Fast forward into December 2023, we ended the year off with just over 1,200 sales in the month of December against just over 4,400 active listings. And so this is a number that we, or a pattern that we typically do see as we get into the December months, is we do see a drastic drop off in the number of active listings that come to the market due to the holidays. York Region followed a similar pattern. November 2023, we had just over 790 sales against just over 2,900 active listings. Fast forward to December, that number of sales goes to just over 600 and the active listings drop to just over 1,700. Now, months of inventory, this is all about checks and balances, supply and demand. So for the month of November in Toronto, encompassing all housing types, we were having around 4.4 months of inventory and into December, that dropped to 2.7 months of inventory. So that's an important number to pay attention to as we move into Q1 of 2024 to see if we see a pattern or if we see more listings come to the market for the first quarter of 2024 because those months of inventory could move up if we don't see the number of sales to support that. In York Region, November 2023, we were hovering on 3.7 months of inventory and those months of inventory dropped to 2.4 into December. And that's primarily due to the fact that we didn't see as many active listings on the market in the month of December. Now, price changes. Now, this is a month over month price change encompassing all housing types. In Toronto, for an average property, we're hovering on a million fifty one in November and that jumped up slightly into December to a million sixty two. In your region for an average property we are having a one point two nine million dollars. Into December it drops just a little bit to one point two eight one million dollars. Now year over year price changes this is an important number to pay attention to. So back in December 2022 in Toronto encompassing all housing types and average property in December 2022 was around $1.018 million. Like I shared with you now, in December 2023, an average property was trading around $1.062 million. Despite all the rate increases and all the news about increasing mortgage rates and it's a buyer's market or the market's crashing, we still saw an average around a 4.2% increase for an average property in Toronto for the entire year of 2023. In New York Region, average property back of December 2022 was hovering around $1.268 million. Fast forward into December 2023, an average property there was trading around $1.281 million. So encompassing all housing types in York Region, don't forget York Region is huge, so this is a general statement, an average property went down around 1%, almost negligible. So some things to pay attention to, so there were reported just over 65,000 home sales reported through Treb's MLS system in 2023. This equated to around a 12.1% drop or dip compared to 2022. Now despite an uptick during the spring and summer months, the number of new listings also declined in 2023. The trend for listings has been largely flat to down over the past decade, which is problematic in the face of steadily growing population. On a seasonally adjusted monthly basis, sales increased compared to November, while new listings declined for the third straight month. Anyways, I hope you found these numbers and this information useful. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to give me a call, send me a text, shoot me over a DM or an email. As always, great time. Take care.